Okay. Hey, I'm Seth Johnson with Land House. Here with my neighbor Nathan, Homestead on the Mountain YouTube channel. Link in the description down below. We are wrapping up his micro hydro install. Now there are a few things we need to change and that will be covered in later update videos. But let's start up here at the intake. We have got uh, a pretty good little stream of water coming down. Runs over some plastic. And we've got these three screened intakes which are just basically three inch PVC pipe covered in screen. There's a bunch of holes in the pipe that allows the water to pass and come down two different inch and a quarter poly pipe down to a barrel intake. So let's walk down there real quick. <clears throat> the turbine currently has a 3 16 nozzle open and this is the overflow that we've got coming out of the barrel. This barrel acts as a, a reservoir to hold water that's air free for the source of the turbine. We've also got silt catchment in the bottom so we can open up this valve down here to drain out the silt and sediment. They've also got drinking water that comes out of this tube here going to their house. <laughs> Our uh, pin stock is simply an inch and a quarter poly pipe. It's 600 foot long and drops approximately 133 feet. He's just got a cross piece here with a couple of screws in it to support the uh, pin stock from pulling down on our unisil that goes into the tank. We were just mentioning that this little cross section here may be a uh, semi-temporary thing. Uh, adding a second piece either further back or further forward, link them together to make sure it supports this pipe nicely. If you put too much torque on the unisil here, it will pop out. Okay, let's head on down the creek here and we will go to the turbine. So this is 600 feet of inch and a quarter poly pipe. And uh, you can see we are not using all of the creek, which is good for the wildlife. And the further we go down, the more the water picks up as more and more springs on this mountain uh, are popping up. We've noticed that there are a few places in the pin stock that have an upward raise to them. Uh, so for example, right here, pipe dips down, goes back up over this log and then back down. Whenever that happens, a pocket of air can be trapped and it can actually reduce the efficiency. So I'm just gonna simply bring this down a bit so that every part of it is going downhill. Here is where the two pieces of pipe come together. It's two separate uh, 300 foot sections. We're about to get a huge rainstorm. <laughs> We've made it down to the turbine and the rain has started so I've got you under a hat here. So the uh, turbine jets were a little bit misaligned and he has uh, readjusted them and we're getting a lot more power than we were before. But let me run you run through here what we've got. Have a pressure gauge which is currently holding at about 61 psi comes down here to a ball valve so we can turn the whole system off. It's got a union so it's easy to disconnect the turbine for adjustments. Then we've got a split here. One side goes over to a quarter inch nozzle. And the other is a 3 16th on this side. That's all that we currently have running. And then if you move over here, you can see the three phase wire that comes out on this side and uh, the motor is spinning quite smoothly at the moment. An upgrade that we're gonna have is a new stator that will allow us to spin this with a higher voltage. And we're also gonna adjust the Pelton wheel that's in here to one that will hopefully have a higher efficiency. The wire goes close to 600 feet back up to the house with uh, three different sections. We don't quite have enough water to run the 
quarter inch jet. But we're gonna go ahead and turn it on so you can hear that. We got quite rained out in a huge thunderstorm and we are in the middle of a small gap before the rest of the day is just rain so we're gonna go ahead and close this up and uh, here's a quick shot of what the electronics look like inside we are not getting the voltage that we want because uh, Spencer was worried about producing too much voltage for the charge controller but um, we're gonna rework that stator and bring hopefully 60 volts up here to the top and uh, we'll be really uh, doing something good then. But anyway, I'm gonna close this out and head back to the house. Yeah. Um, be sure to check out Homestead on the Mountain. Uh, Nathan's got several videos, uh, one currently there and one on the way that you can see some updates on this hydro system. I just got back down to the house. This is quite a storm we're getting. We haven't had rain in a while, but the intake is gurgling a lot of air which means we have a lot more potential to fill our barrel with water. And so a rain like this is super helpful for us to be able to run those, uh, the big jet at the turbine. Remember that Spencer Langston with Langston Alternative Power is the sponsor of this series. He is going to be sending us some new stuff in the mail soon. Uh, a new Pelton wheel and uh, a new stator for that turbine. And we will see the voltage drop or jump from about 27 to hopefully 60 and really be charging those batteries nicely. So if you would hit the thumbs up button, remember to subscribe, ring the notification bell, and if you would head over to Spencer's website and check things out, links in the description down below. And if you want to see some of his work, he has a YouTube channel that he has different uh, turbines on and some other fun projects. And be sure to check out Homestead on the Mountain. I know it's a lot, but uh, hopefully it just gives you something else to work with. And on the channel here, I have a solar install coming up soon, and uh, I have another micro hydro install uh, that I'm working through at the moment. So uh, be sure to subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.